we're going to start out by looking at light crude uh, and do our projections for 2021. First thing I want to show you when I look at this, though, is a blank chart because I want you to see the nature of the kind of work that we do. There are so many of you now that are watching this that have never seen what we do, and so many of you that are watching this that are learning about how to look at the markets the way that we do, uh, looking at markets in time and price, which is what cycle analysis is. It's uh, essentially a look at the money flow of the markets in a visual way with recurring patterns that when you look at a chart like this, you'll say, well, you know, I see a lot of bouncing up and down, but are there really recurring patterns? Well, I want you to see that as we switch over to our work on the CL chart. And there you have cycle analysis right in front of you. I'll give you a little bit of an overview of what that cycle analysis looks like right now as uh, I uh, take a, a, my pointer here and go through this chart in some detail so you get uh, a pretty good idea of what's going on. So the first thing I want you to note is that there is what we call a cycle bracket on the bottom. This is just a drawing tool. It's set at what the average length of cycles are. A cycle is measured from low to low, as you can see right in here, low to low. And uh, these cycle patterns remarkably are consistent. You can see this was 16 months from the previous low, 15 months, 19 months. This was a long, these were long cycles at 18 and 19, and then you had this extremely short cycle. Sometimes we have to deal with that where it comes outside of what we call the principle of variation. 15 months, 18 months, 16 months, you could see the beautiful cyclicality in here as it moves the way that it does. And we learn so much from the patterns also. I want you to note there are three head and shoulders patterns in here. This one right over here, it measured to here. You could see the measurement, perfect. A small inverted head and shoulders made the upside correction. <coughs> it measured right up to here. And what that gave you was a perfect touch and hit the resistance. And then a head and shoulders continuation pattern, which came down and projected to here and also a perfect touch, as you see right there. Just absolutely beautiful patterns. And we look at candlesticks and things like that. So this is what cycle analysis is. The yellow ovals are corrective phases. We sometimes put these in here so you can see. When you get into the final stages where the cycle is correcting or pushing down is when you have the biggest downside risk, as you can see. And that turns out that it's going to happen here in this year where we're likely to get a correction. I'm going to take a closer look here for you to see. And of course, you can go to AskSlim.com and you can learn about cycle analysis uh, by taking our cycle analysis workshop. For the year uh, 2020, there was a change of a loss of about 21.5%. Cycle analysis projections, as you can see right in here, as this just made the low here back uh, uh, at the April lows right there and now has been moving up. So our projection is for it to peak somewhere in Q1 or Q2. You can, maybe it'll come up here, come down, and then maybe test those levels. We're looking for an expected range of 54, which is about the bottom of this Fib confluence there, and then a decline for it to close near the, uh, near the lows for the year to somewhere around the $35 area. This is the support zone right over here. This is the corrective phase right over here. And that takes you down here to Q4. Now, it'll probably give up a lot of ground in here. It might fall even as low as 31. We're going to look for about 35, 36, and then probably get a bounce somewhere out over here. But closer to the lows for the year than the highs for the year is what we think is going to happen. So this overall is a pretty negative scenario. And uh, in order for that to happen, well, you figure that something is going to come out in here in the markets uh, that is going to be, well, back in that deflationary mode that I talked about in the uh, early part of the show. So for the year, we're looking for a lower year for the light crude market after coming and trying to test up this resistance area near the $54 area. That seems the most likely to us with that peak coming somewhere late Q1, maybe a test up there in Q2, and then a weaker time period over here for the energy market. 
So that is a look at the energies like crude and uh, a good sense for how we look at the uh, markets uh, and with our time and price analysis and all the things that we put in there. We also put in a lot of momentum indicators that I'm going to show you as we get further on in the show uh, how important momentum is. What you're seeing in here is how important the uh, putting in the, the resistance levels, support levels, and doing the targeting the way that we do them. So that's light crude. Last year, a big loss. And this year, probably failing after some kind of rally.